What's up world? My name is Sarah and welcome back to another episode of whatever it is that we're doing here. Kinda. It's a lot. This is a big haul. I was gonna say stackable. Spruce the when you're out. It's a great layering piece. This haul is a little much. Come on now. <clears throat> Genius. Is in my blood. I love it so much. It's only me or rabbit hole of style. But what if you like a color? This particular whatever. I love me a good granola. Oh my goodness, it says the good life is right here. 30 years, I don't know. How am I gonna make this work? Interesting, good luck. Gooey, that's so annoying. Now here's the backstory. I was on Pinterest looking for a fruitcake recipe because this Christmas I really wanna try and make one of those gooey, dark, syrupy, with nuts and dried fruit kind of cakes that my grandmother always made for Christmas. And so I went online on Pinterest. I was browsing the fruit cake recipe collection and I came across somehow, I clicked on something obviously, and I came across something that was super interesting. I didn't know this, maybe you knew this, but there is a thing called granola style. Now, first of all, I love me a good granola, but when I clicked on this particular picture and that opened up a whole new rabbit hole of style that obviously I know the style, but it was just, how do I put it? An eye-opening situation where it dawned on me that, oh my God, one of my favorite styles is granola style. So as you can see from the inspiration pictures, it is a outdoorsy, I wanna use a very Canadian mountain flannel knit, earthy tones, just a perfect fall, winter, any season colors, just like for me as a Canadian, this is in my blood or that's how I think of it. So with that in mind, I ran to the thrift store and got a whole bunch of items that I can hopefully recreate some of these looks with these items. And boy, when I tell you that uh, I got a little crazy, this haul is a little much, to be honest. So we're gonna have to do some decluttering down the line. I'm still in the beginner stage of how to pair all of these items together. I bet you I'll still be looking at a bunch of things. Now, there are a couple that I'm questioning, not only for is it part of the granola style, but is it really me? And we'll get to that. But I had so much fun looking for these pieces and I really didn't have to look that hard because there was a lot of things. I found a bunch of pieces in the men's and children's areas. It was just a treasure hunt extravaganza that turned out to be, like I said, a huge haul. Now, I only found a couple of pair of pants because I wasn't really sure the vibe. So I'll show you everything that I got. And I would really appreciate if you could kind of guide me on how I could style and mix match some of these items together. And if I need something else to spruce the look. All right, starting off strong, a pair of denim. These are so nice and comfortable on. They are a mom jean fit that have enough stretch and then the cut is just perfect. Snug where it's supposed to be, loose where it's supposed to be. And this is a brand new brand for me and I'm not 100% sure. Is it a brand, a brand? jeans, anywho. And because it's a new brand, I went online to see what the brand was. And I got these for three euros. They retail for about 75 to about 130 euros. So your girl stole them, kind of. Now the second pair are a black cargo pant that I haven't worn in 30 years. I don't know. It's been a while since I've had a cargo pant. These are a little big, but thinking of the whole outfit and the style, I probably would wear some kind of legging or 
tights underneath just to keep me snug. And I like the fact that this is cuffed at the bottom because it gives me a nice, warm, snug feel. And yeah, I'm gonna try and rock some fun black cargo pants. This is the brand, like so, and yeah. These are comfortable. I like how they're high rise. I can even wear a belt with it, but not necessary. So yeah, I think this and the denim are good base for the granola style vibe, don't you think? Do you have any other suggestions on what other kind of pants, color, texture, style, this particular granola vibe? could go with. Now this is where it's gonna get a little crazy because I found so many different knits, tops, sweaters, hoodies, and uh, I might have to donate some of them already because it's a lot. This is a big haul. Now starting off strong, this is a men's knit that to me, if I keep anything from this haul to be part of the granola style, it's definitely this one. This is the the base of, to me, the whole vibe. And I mean, I'm not wrong, right? Like this is the most perfect color style. It's a little big for me, but I think that's part of the vibe that it's like, I was gonna say stackable, but layerable. <laughs> and yes, it has pockets, it's long, it has buttons, it's snug. This has cotton and wool in it. The brand is, something I haven't heard of, but it is a men's medium, but it's still a good fit for me, especially because I would probably wear this with a long sleeve t-shirt. And speaking of a long t long sleeve t-shirt, I found the perfect one. Now, obviously I have a whole bunch of long sleeve t-shirts, but this was a fun button Henley with the most stunning details. Now, I don't know if this is part of the granola style, but this is part of my style. I love the little embroidery detail crochet thing on the sleeve. And this to me is a perfect piece for this haul because I'm such a layering kind of person and this style is layering, right? That's the whole keep it snug when you're out and about in the woods making s'mores. <laughs> This piece I grabbed not only because the style and the softness, but the colors are to me perfect for this vibe. It has like these earthy tones. This is nice and soft. I think it's acrylic, so it's not your best quality fabric in the sense of, yeah, it has some acrylic and polyester, but because it is that, it's so soft and comfortable on, and the colors, I mean, you can't beat it, right? It's, it's perfect. Now, the brand for this, again, no idea what brand this is, but a, a nice, soft, cute, granola style vibe. Now, this was a no-brainer because it's one of those out doorsy kind of layering jackets that has buttons. Nope, it has zippers for pockets, zipper on the front and a nice hoodie. It also has those thingamajigs for your thumbs to come through. And yeah, this is an H&M Sport like that. And yeah, I, uh, I can't say enough good things about something like this. This is a great layering piece. I will probably be saying layering throughout the whole video. And yeah, I am lost of words to try and explain why this is a good piece, but you know the gist. It, it's a good summer jacket, winter layering piece. Win-win. My hair is getting staticky. Anywho, I have a sleeveless, turtleneck and uh, say it with me, it's a great layering piece. And I, I, I've thrifted a whole bunch of these throughout the summer because I like this look as is. But again, you throw this underneath any of the pieces that I've shown and will show. It's just a, a, just the, you know, perfect layering piece. I mean, if I have the long sleeve t-shirt on, it's quite open on the neckline. And if I'm going outside, especially in the woods or like for a walk, it might be cold. So if I put this 
On top of that, I will have the long sleeve and the turtleneck and an extra layer to keep me snug. So just a way to think outside the box. Might not be the most stylish. Although these two might look really cute together. What do you think? Waiting for a sneeze. This was a no-brainer. Now, I am not sure if this is men's or women's. According to the side of the buttons, it's a men's shirt. So this is the brand. And yeah, the buttons are on the men's side. I'm not sure if this brand actually makes stuff for men's. I haven't seen it, at least not where I live. I love this color. It is a greenish black and gray flannel. This is the right kind of flannel, if you know, you know. This is again like, oh my God, I'm like, I don't know if it's because I'm Canadian or just this is, I, I love this, but come on now. Oh my God, so nice. It's a little big for me, but I think that just adds to the vibe. This is just, uh, one of those I could sleep in it it's so soft I love it don't you think this is good this is up there in the hall this is this is gonna be up there right now if the flannel was soft and like pajamas this next piece is also in that not pajamas realm I wouldn't wear this to bed but oh my goodness is this genius this has a soft layer of fleece inside and then the zip up with the kind of wind stopper in front and then there's like knit in the back the neckline and the sleeves it's so nice it has pockets and can work as a sweater or a jacket depending on how cold it's outside but what really got me was obviously the style is perfect for the granola style absolutely it's a dark gray so everything in that category is perfect but really the the fleece inside when i tried this on was so so nice i mean i can't i can't even it was just i love it i, I just i love it so much now this is an item that i would have thrifted for any of my videos because it's a knit turtleneck and if you've been around you know that knit turtlenecks are just my thing and this color is absolutely stunning it's a dark burgundy purple i don't know if it's showing up on the camera well but this i think is original h m yeah Oh, I don't know if it's picking it up. But anyway, trust me, original H&M. This is a longer, almost dress-like kind of shirt. I don't know if that is in the realm of the granola style, but, but the color and the texture is just, we're gonna make it work because your girl loves the knits, the turtleneck. And this color to me is one of the base colors of this whole granola style vibe right all right this is gonna be that piece that i kind of mentioned briefly in the beginning am i gonna have to redonate this immediately because well first of all it's yellow and even though i love yellow it's one of those colors that's kind of hard for me to wear for some reason i don't know if it it's only me or if there's some truth behind it and I really don't like I know that if you wear colors that are good for your skin and hair and eye color that you gonna. but what if you like a color and it makes you feel happy even though it's not in your color palette as a professional I don't know whatever I'm what I want to say is even if yellow isn't your color and you find something that you might like to wear that shouldn't be I don't know, just wear the dang thing. Wear whatever you feel comfortable in. That's my advice. So, my question now is, can I sneak this into the granola style or not? I mean, style-wise, obviously, a big, chunky sweater with some nice details. This is obviously the style is exactly for what we're looking for. But the color is quite bright. Can I pull this off and say that this is part of the granola style? I don't know. I'm gonna give this a chance and see how it vibes. This is a, this is an extra large and this is the brand like so. And this is just, oh my goodness, it says the good life is right here. 
So this was 70 cents and I thought that it was totally worth it to try and see. What happened was I grabbed it because I thought the color is, is kind of nice and the texture is perfect. But then I put it back and then I was saying to myself, it's 70 cents, take it, try it out, give it a chance. So here I am giving a chance to this beautiful net that, uh, yeah, how am I gonna make this work? Let me know. This haul has been crazy. We still have items to go through and uh, yeah. So next up is, again, this is from the men's department. It's a, it's not a crew neck, it's a turtleneck that is a wide loose turtleneck now it says slim fit so it is a slimmer men's that i think i can pull it off i i don't really mind if the shoulder obviously it's to each their own this is the brand oh where is it there like that slim fit it says extra large which is funny because i'm a small woman even in the women's department like i'm short and i'm petite i'm not really breasty so yeah any man that wears an extra large good luck so this is one of those oversized vibe sweatshirt that's just I had to sneak this in because again, this was under one euro. So I mean, the, the vibe, right? This with the denim is just gonna be like chef's kiss with a big scarf and a beanie. Speaking of beanies, if you are looking for a perfect beanie for the season, I'm plugging my own company because the beanies we have are so good and i'm not just saying this but they really are so so good now this is going to be one of my favorite items of the haul just because the color and the fit are perfect it is a brown hoodie now i think this was from the kids department i can't find oh, this one i don't know if i can find sometimes the brand is like hmm, i'm not 100 percent sure but I don't know. It's a brown hoodie with a front pocket situation. This is a perfect size for me. The fit underneath my armpit, the length is just, it's snug, but not to the point where it tugs too much. I don't know if you know what I mean, but as a short girl to find a hoodie that fits well around my body, this was just, I mean, and the color, yeah, one of those, I'm gonna live in this piece. And the color is just so good. It's so me, right? Speaking of colors that are so me and one of my favorite from this haul, our last piece is a green teddy Sherpa, what, I don't know what they're called. It's a jacket kind of vibe, but I could also wear it indoors. This has a different lining than the one that I showed previously, the dark gray one. This has like a windstopper isk inside and yeah this is so nice on so soft so so soft yeah this i'm gonna have to leave on for today because i mean the color is just to die for this is the brand of this one again this i think is kids but i mean if the shoe fits then and by the way, if the shoe doesn't fit, don't try and stretch the shoe because us with smaller feet, that's so annoying. So here's the deal. I need your help on mix matching and putting together the granola vibe with the items that I have. And uh, please encourage for more granola content because I love it. Now, I hope this inspires you to look into the granola vibe and uh, let me know what you thrift at the thrift store. So a little side note, I did find a good fruitcake recipe, but if you have a great one that you're willing to share, please leave a link or let me know in the comments below or send me a message because I'm looking for a gooey fruitcake recipe that uh, I can incorporate into our Christmas time festivity treats. Now go ahead, like this video. That always helps me out and I truly, truly appreciate it because I love, love, love on YouTube. It's just, it's my thing. And remember to subscribe to the channel so you can find a way back for next week's video. Toodaloo.